Luca <laughs> Tresh has six home runs. Uh, that's that's the uh, well above the 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 Evan Justice. And there you go, pitch inside, hitting Lala, and the leadoff man is on for the Hurricanes. Yeah, Lala team has, was either ranked or is ranked by one of the polls. Every one. Morales watches that one high. Nice seven pitch plate appearance. Probably not a threat to run here. That one lofted up into the air. McDonough finding it in center. Trailing in, makes the throw. And it will not be enough to keep Lala from scoring on the sacrifice fly, making it one to nothing, Hurricanes advantage. So the little things cost NC State a run right away. Runner takes off, swing and a miss. Skill goes down, hacking. And that retires the side in the top of the first inning, but extra innings or a blowout game for that as McDonough sends it up into the air. That's in deep left field. And back to the wall. It's down and McDonough slides into third safely. That turned out to be more trouble for Jordan Lala than he bargained for. I'll tell you what, this is an indication of what we're in for today. That was simply a lazy fly ball to left, but you can look at the, cl uh, the, uh, the flags and left Left field, left center field, and they are blowing hard out, and the wind kind of shifted. That up. Betterman misses and sends it under him. So swung on strike three, but everybody's safe, and NC State able to tie it up as McDonough scores. So didn't we build this as a, uh, a showcase of catchers <laughs> at the beginning? And that's a wild pitch, but I'm sure Del Castillo, as good as he is, uh, needs to keep that ball in front of him. Got right, went five hole for you hockey fans. Betterman off the mark, and that's ball four. So two on for the Wolfpack. They're 99 for the Mets. I think that's it. Tatum swings and misses. That's strike three. So Fetterman gets out of the jam, but it was two years ago. Led plenty, the ACC. Plenty of big hitters for sure in this Miami lineup. And on that one drilled on the ground up the middle. Bourne has his first hit of the season, and a couple men on for Miami. And now we've got a problem for this again with two strikes. Weak grounder, this time to Torres, it's short. Has to come up for it and makes the throw in time. But as you said, it, they'll sacrifice a run. It's now 2-1 Miami lead. Yeah. Goes to it with two strikes. Forces a wave and a miss and strands a runner at third. But Miami gets one across. They hold a 2-1 lead. As organization. That one first pitch swinging up in the zone, sent deep back to center field and off of the hitter's wall, Tyler McDonough with the solo shot. Boy, that, that was a no doubter. I mean, the wind has kind of died down, but that just kind of got up in the jet stream. Remember we, we talked about nobody's really squared one up yet? That was it. <laughs> that was it. That one launched this time to left and see you later. Luca Tresh, his seventh home run of the season. And that was a no doubt. What's the dorm that's over that wall and left? <laughs> that might have hit it on like two hops. That looked to me like Fetterman tried to throw the same pitch he had just thrown that was called the ball. Uh, and that one was a little flatter and Tresh was all over it. High line drive. This is what this is what NC State is about. Really, it's what Miami's. Heck. That one lined out into center field and it drops for a hit. And you've got State that has become a perennial top 25 team. North Carolina, nobody was anything from it. There goes Butler. Pitch misses outside. Ball four, which means Butler gets second anyway. Tatum moves to first with one away. Runners take off. Del Castillo, a rocket of a throw down the third, and he punches out Butler. I mean, I don't, I don't hate the play. I know uh, NC State might, uh, might take a look at this, but I, I don't hate the, uh, the play for NC State. But this, he's got such a great arm, and the, the pitch being inside, he was able to step behind. Uh, and Gill went to tag his foot which I don't think was even close to a play because bottom of the order hasn't been as productive for the Wolfpack. And there you have it. Jarrett sends it 
Skyward back and left. Butler, after the catch, takes off for home. Tatum takes off for third as well, and they both reach. Butler scores and makes it 3-2 to two in C State. I will say this, Johanny uh, Morales, that ball in play at that point. That one gets by Del Castillo. Here comes Tatum, and he's up easy across the plate. 5-2 NC State now. I'm not sure. And that one misses outside. Good eye by Del Castillo. And he gets the free pass. Nothing. And a miss inside with the breaking ball. Jenkins walks, and it puts runners at first and second for the top of the order. More apt to cut off a single. Opposite field for Lala. Butler trailing back to the wall, and it leaves the park. A three-run shot for Jordan Lala that ties it at five. That's wind aided. You can see the flags blowing way out straight out to left field. Got that ball up into the jet stream. I mean, I, I don't even think he hit it that hard, but it got up in the air, it just kind of rode the wind. Lala's first home run of the season, he hadn't driven in a run until that swing. Yeah, that's uh, that's completely self-inflicted. One and two, Torres lifts it to deep left, and that is his first home run of the season. So Garland is now allowed a triple and two home runs in the five hits he's allowed. That ball, I mean, Torres just read it right out of the arm. Looked like a curveball that just stayed up. That ball is hit hard. That's now consecutive. But ultimately, bunting for a base hit is allowable. Here's Tyler McDonough with a fly ball to left field. And it drops down in the corner. McDonough racing to second, thought about third, but to hold up easy with a double. And I'll even point out that anytime you're not swinging away on a day like today where the ball is obviously carrying, it's probably a wasted opportunity. That was just barely fair. I mean, it Garland the two and one. Chopped to the opposite direction. And it's through for Tresh. He'll have a single and a run driven in. And NC State with an answer. That is a, that, that, that'll be a single, but it's probably a play that Terrell wants to make. There's not great range at first base. Eyes have been where. Brown sends it opposite field. That is well struck. Back to the track, to the wall. It will not return. Devontae Brown comes alive with a two-run shot for NC State. I mean, that's just really, really big opposite field power because it's really a little bit into the wind out towards if you're hitting the ball toward right field because the wind is blowing straight out to left. So you're kind of going into the breeze, but that ball had some giddy up. It's the deeper side of the stadium as well, 3.30 to... Swing and a miss, skill goes down, Justice retires the Hurricanes in order in the top. JT Jarrett to lead things off. High bouncer, Gill at third, well overthrown and back into the wall. Jarrett stays at first. Garland the two and two to Torres, ripped into left, it's down for a hit. Menchik rounding third, headed for home. He scores, and it is an RBI triple for Jose Torres. 10 to five NC State leads. Well, I'm not really sure what happened to Lala on left field. It looked like he either overran the ball or he just lost his footing because that ball got by him all the way to the wall. I'm, I'm not even sure that Menchik would have even tried to score. So if we look at it again, let's see what happened to, uh, to Lala down the left field line. Took a weird hop, but now he just misplayed it. 
They have not. And that one outside. Enough ripple. And later an error on Jordan Lala. That time a grounder spiked on the right side. He drives in a run as Torres comes across. And Miami gets its second out. Now I think it. it, it Butler with the 0-1. Lofts it out to right field. Del Castillo was right there to make the grab and retire the side in the bottom of the fifth. 2-2 Two -two in on Lala. And the pitch nicks him. So the first batter faced for Reed Johnston is hit by pitch. Four to get thrown out on the bases now. Here he goes. Chopper over to Torres. And his taking off. Saved and out at second. And the bouncing throw means everybody's safe. Lala advances to third, and they're on the corners. Early. Swung on, strike three. Johnston gets the K for the pinch hitter. After being staked to a 5-2 lead. There's a rip into right, Alex Toral, who's had a bit of a rough day. I mean, that's his fourth plate appearance, Adam. He, he has let off an inning all four times and gets his first hit there. Yeah, speaks on your television. Ripped one hop to Murr. He's going to shoot for the double play, and Johnston covers in time to get the throw from Torres. How about that? Great throw by Murr to and two different coaches with over a thousand wins. Butler, the chopper up the middle, and Morales does a good job to get a throw off, but not right. So the ACC would rather play themselves, where we everybody's got the same protocol. So you don't have NFL salary cap has gone up by about 10 million every year. Now it's going down. So 56 games, right? Yeah. And Sheik sends that one out to right. Del Castillo trailing in and makes the grab. That'll strand the bases loaded for NC State. But they Reed Johnston remains on the mound and plunks Perez. Welcome to your first plate appearance in the ACC, Carlos. Two strikes, swing and a miss. Jordan Lala goes down, and that's out number one. The full count. Johnston catches the inner black. Vilar thought he had a walk, but it's... Swing and a miss. It bounces in front of Tresh. To complete the throw, it is two Murr and in time. The strikeout is the 14th by a Miami batter, and it retires the side. Reed Johnston fans the side in the ninth inning. And NC State notches the game one victory 11 to five.